What's happening everyone, it's John and I've got a review on ProCam which is going to run you a dollar in the App Store and is loaded with features. Before I start this video, I want to give you a little pro tip. If your iPhone is jailbroken, you can get this app called Grabber App, which I definitely recommend because you can add any app right here to open where your uh, usual camera app would be open from. Uh, so I have it set to Grabber App, which automatically opens right from the uh, home screen. Uh, so this app, again, is loaded with a lot of features. It's got a really nice UI, which you can actually change. You've got two options here from these two. I personally like the first one, so I keep it set to that. You've got a ton of features here. You can set G tagging you can set the interval time which I'll show you in a little bit you've got the self timer actually I'm going to set the interval timer to like three seconds so it don't waste too much time you can change the burst quality the uh, JPEG quality uh, if you want to save uh, memory on your phone this is great you've just got a ton of options here you've also got uh, display options here like grids that you can add to your phone I'm gonna take those off I actually just like it plain you can change the aspect ratio here I'll leave it here. Uh, you've also, again, the resolution you can change as well as the auto on and off. Uh, you've got everything here. You can also uh, switch the uh, the camera so that now you're facing me and you're looking at my setup with my books and tripod. But I'm going to go back to the other camera here and show you the uh, options. So you've got the big button option right now. So wherever I click, it's going to go ahead and take the picture and send it right to my camera roll. Another thing I like about this app is that you have the zoom button right here. It's just really, uh, really convenient that you've actually got the bar right here to actually look at uh, instead of pinching and stuff. So you've got your zoom bar right there. Again, a ton of features. So now we're going to go into the uh, face detection. I'll actually uh, show you face detection in a bit. And I don't know why I took a picture there. Uh, I guess it is a little buggy. That is one of the only cons I have about this app. It is kind of buggy, but for the most part, this app is very good. You've got the video here. Uh, let's go and show you all the features here. Let's see if I'm am I hitting it right. I don't know. See, again, it is kind of buggy. Um, let us just get out of that one there. So, uh, moving along, you've got single shot. That's just going to take pictures like you normally would. So I don't want to take up too much of your time because this app is, again, loaded with features. So I'm going to go ahead and show you two more features that I really like. And I'm going to move over to the interval one. Now, this one's actually cool, too. So it's the first one where you can just take a bunch of pictures. But I'm going to go move over to the interval one and uh, show you what the interval one does. So if you've got the, uh, you've got the iPhone set up somewhere and you actually want to uh, uh, have the picture be taken at your time set, there you go. It's gonna set. It's gonna take a picture every three seconds, is what I set it at, and you can set it at whatever time you want. And this is perfect for family portraits if you want to leave the phone there and you've got want to do different little funny poses or whatever. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off, and actually go somewhere else to the face detection, which I actually wanted to show you. So we'll go right to that. All right. So we're gonna try the face detection here. I'm just gonna point it right to my face, smile, and as you can see, it's adding a, a little blue box right on my face and taking pictures. So. Again, this is a very, I'm just going to keep it there. I'm going to have so many pictures to delete after this review. But I definitely recommend you guys check this app out. It's, again, a dollar in the App Store, and it's just loaded with features. And that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below as it really does help me out, as well as subscribe up above. And, again, check out ProCam in the App Store. All right, see you later.